Alright guys, for my first tutorial, I'm going to teach you the double lift. It's really basic, but it's pretty much used in almost every magic trick or card trick that you're ever going to do. So once you get that mastered, there's a lot of cool effects you can do with just a double lift too. And I'm going to teach you a trick using three double lifts that I even do sometimes. Um, I still perform it just because it's so simple, but it's pretty hard hitting. So if you guys are ready, I'm going to go down to the table and I'll teach you the double lift. A double lift is essentially just what it sounds. All you're going to do is you're going to hold two cards together as one. It's very convincing and there's a lot of different ways to do it, but I'm going to show you some of the most basic. You're going to hold the deck, if you're right-handed obviously, which most of you are, I'm sure. Hold the deck in mechanics grip. This is mechanics grip. you got your pointer finger on top, the three fingers on the side, and your thumb on the other side. And what you're going to do is you're going to give the deck a slight bevel. So it's got an angle here. And as a slight bevel, you want to use your right pointer finger and put it in between your left middle finger and your left ring finger. And feel until you get two cards. You can feel that that's one, and you can feel when it's two. When it's two, get a decent grip on it and slide it down towards your left hand fingers. And then bring it back to the other side, turning it over. Now, if you notice, I left a little bit of space at the bottom. That's going to help in turning it over. If you use your left index finger and you press down just a little bit at the top, the card starts to bow. That'll allow you to catch a break on this side with either your little finger or your ring finger. So it'll be easier to grab these two cards to turn them back over. Now obviously, that 10 is the second card. We hid the 8 behind the 10. So I'll do it again one more time. Like I said, you bevel the deck so that you can catch a better corner. When it's beveled, you can grab two cards a lot easier than when it's straight. It's a lot harder. So you give it a bevel, you catch two, and you turn it over slightly towards the top of the deck to give you a little bit of space. Using your pointer finger, you press up so it bevels just a little, and then you can grab it and turn it back over. You want to be as smooth as possible. Like I said, just a little bevel turn it over, little press, and right back down. And that's a very simple way to do a double lift. There's tons of different variations. Some are more flashy than others. Um, you know, you can have a little flourish to it, different stuff like that. Um, now also with a double lift, you can also do a triple lift. A triple lift would be actually lifting three cards. And as you practice, you'll be able to distinguish between one, two, and three cards just by feeling be able to feel right on the side and decide how many cards that you have. See, there's two, and you should be able to even get three. As you practice, that'll become easier and easier. But like I said, this is one of the most important moves in Magic, so you really have to give it a lot of effort. Um, and now I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick that you can do with just double lifts. So what you're going to want to do is execute one double lift. And say, okay, we have the ten of clubs. Leave the ten of clubs to the left. It's actually the seven of hearts because you did a double lift. The ten of clubs is still on top. Then you're going to do another double lift and say, okay, the jack of hearts is here. Tell them we have the ten of clubs here and the jack of hearts here. Actually, the jack's on top, and this is the ten. So you already switched the ten and the jack. If you take this card, you ask them, what is this? They're going to tell you, well, that's the ten. You put it back on top. Then you're going to execute another double lift, and it looks like the jack has magically jumped from here to here, and the 10 has jumped from the deck to there. When in reality, you have a double here, so you don't want to show that. You want to keep that tight. Just take all three cards and get rid of them. Using a double lift, three in a row, you actually really cause two cards to change. And I do that a lot, and I do some pretty cool tricks, and uh, that one gets a great reaction because it's so simple, it's in your face, and people seem to love it. So that's the double lift, just a very basic version, and uh, it's the one I seem to use the most. So if you have any questions, feel free to send me a private message, or if you want me to show you some other types of double lifts, just let me know. Thanks.